everybody, Martin at Flick and Feathers again today. I'm tying the Bigfoot, it's a floating snail palm. These are very effective on still waters. Um, certain times of the year when the floating snails turn up, I mean it's very location dependent. Where I grew up, probably around about now. Also kind of early in the, earlier in the year, but periodically they appear. Um, and they can be quite frustrating if you don't have something like this in your box. Black and peacock spider works alright, but it sometimes sinks. Well, it does sink a bit much. Um, this is going to hang right, right under the film. And it can be very, very effective. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel. Get access to the monthly online fly tying classes that we do, and enter the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. That's all appreciated. So I've got my hook my vice, this is a size 12, camera's on B170. And I'm running on a bed of black thread. It doesn't really matter what your thread is. This is Uni AO. And then I'm going to get a bit of yellow foam. This is just a booby tube, booby cylinder cut in half. Um, it's a 5mm cylinder, but you can just use any strip of yellow foam. You can also use tan or a light brown, because this represents the foot of the snail, which when they're sort of crawling about, they, they actually crawl along the underside of the water surface, or they sort of float I suppose. Um, so the yellow is not really seen that much by the fish. It's just, uh, it helps you see the fly and it just gives the fish the edge of like, the snail like they would see. I'll go back, tied that too short. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have like a hook length at the back and I'll catch this in. Nice tight thread turns but spiral them. I'm going to tie back. I don't need to go all the way back to the the barb, right? I can stop sort of between the point and the barb. Get that last on, and then we'll just tie this forward, and then I'll pull it on the, the side, sort of underneath. I'm, I'm crushing most of the buoyancy out of this, but what I'm doing is, um using it to shape my body a wee bit. So I'm just getting this in here so it's sort of bulbous. It's easier to use the foam than it is to use the thread to puff that up. Just make sure everything's sitting nice and straight. You don't want it rolling or twisting. You can see that I've got enough foam just I can pull that across the back. And I'm going to get half a dozen or more. There's seven here, I think. Uh, maybe even eight strands of peacock hero. I'm going to catch them at the front. You don't need to be that fussy. Uh, and I'll drop my thread back. To the hook bend. And I'm going to get some super glue. Right? I'm just trying to add some durability to this. Because it's weak materials. I'm going to wind this. Obviously, over the wet glue, right down to the. When I get to the back, I'm going to twist the herald around my tying thread, 
so that the threads basically got to sort of protect it as a as I wind it up. get to the front you can sort of catch that off untwist the the hair on, catch everything off, just pull that back I've got a couple of wraps in front just to lock everything then come in you've got your wee sort of fat body now basically all that remains is to pull this over the front. Don't don't stretch it super tight, but don't leave it loose. Right, just enough tension to make sure you've got contact all the way around. Now this yellow foam, as I say, it looks like the footlet from below. There's very little of it's actually seen. Uh, I mean, maybe from an angle. Right, so <coughs> it will kind of represent the foot of the snail, as I say. Uh, helps you to see the fly a wee bit because basically you're, I mean, you're fishing it as a dry basically um, but it can be quite hard to spot just trim that like a wee bit of head just leave, you can flatten it if you like with the thread but there's no point really and just whip finish in the groove and again and I mean, takes with this, often it's just like a buzzer, you know, um, on a straight line, just draws away, quite definite. Um, but on those days, if you've, you're kind of struggling, then somebody picks up a fish and it feels like a bag of marbles, it's full of snails, um, these are the goal. You know, it's not an everyday fly necessarily, but you put three or four in your box. And on their day, they're absolutely deadly. So there you go, a wee bit of varnish, clean my eye. And the fly's done. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.